Okay, folks, sorry I hadn't made a video in a while. Um, you know, life goes and gets in a great big hurry sometimes, and you have a bunch of stuff to do. And then I wound up getting the um, coronavirus, and that put me down for a little while. Then I had to go and uh, catch up on everything. And then I wound up getting a hernia, which, you know, it's, it still isn't a big deal, but um, I have Crohn's disease. And I have, it's it's a decent size hernia. And um, part of the my intestines that are affected mainly with my Crohn's disease, the area called the ileum. And that is part of where it could protrude out with the hernia is my ileum could come out. And the main thing is, you know, I can't have a Crohn's flare up with a hernia and my intestines come out of the hole. And then it, it could clamp it off and, you know, we're looking at some real major issues if that happens. And I'm in uh, remission with Crohn's disease. So, I mean, it's a good time to just go ahead and get this thing knocked out. So I'm going to uh, be having surgery here soon, too. So I've been having just, you know, a lot of problems in life, I guess. You know, a lot of work to do and just a bunch of stuff. And it just seems like nothing's been going right with me. Um, but we're going to finish this circuit up. Um, and we start off with the common emitter and we built a, um, a buffer circuit to increase the voltage. So, um, what we're going to do with this now is, uh, we're going to do what's called a common, uh, collector emitter follower side of it. And I'm just going to do this real quick and easy and kind of just basic, uh, a real dirty amplifier part of it. Um, and we're going to use a power amplifier because we're going to increase the current, um, one thing, I, I don't know if I explained this in the, any previous videos, but the basics of all transistors is you have the, uh, the collector, the base, and the emitter. The collector voltage needs to be more than the base. The voltage going to the base needs to be enough to cut the transistor on. I, I'm sorry if I use the word cut. Well, you know, I'm, I'm Southern, so... We, we when we say cut on the, we when we say to turn on the switch we we say cut on the switch so to turn on the transistor you need enough voltage to go into the base to turn it on and remember your emitter is always going to be the diode drop so it's going to be the diode drop less than the base so the collector needs to be more voltage than the base and the emitter will be the diode drop less than the base and that's that's pretty much basically it to get one to work. Um, what we're going to do here, we have our same circuit as we had before. I'm going to use a, um, a TIP41C transistor and um, has a gain of 75. Um, the collector current, the, the, the specs of it can't push over 6 amps through it or 100 volts in a max of uh, 65 watts. We're not going to do anything near that. So um, I, I'm figuring this circuit to have an output when I get done, uh, roughly about a maybe a quarter of a watt or so. Um, not going to go too much into really biasing this thing. And we have uh, impedance and stuff to go into. That's not um, one day I'm going to make a really good video and break down it. We'll go into more about this side of the circuit, but. Um, on this one, I'm just putting in an 8 ohm resistor. Uh, you need to uh, have a resistor that can handle a little bit of um, of wattage because it, it can generate some heat. Um, it's real important on your um, your transistor circuits and stuff with your amplifiers is to have a resistor here on your emitter side because you don't want to get it where it can run away on you. And it, when it does, it's going to go into like a, a loop. It's just infinite gain, and it'll. It's just going to burn it out. Um, also, too, if you notice on this transistor, I'm going to use the same power rail. You can have, the, the, when you're doing that, uh, the transistor can oscillate. Uh, to stop that, you need a, a decoupling capacitor. Just run it in on your collector side, and that'll prevent that. Um, but pretty much this is the way I've got it wired up, and I'll show you what the circuit looks like with a bunch of chaos here. This is what I come up with. I had to build a heat sink for my uh, to dissipate the heat that's 
from this uh, power transistor here. But uh, let's cut it on and get some audio going through it. Okay, as you can see, I got a little speaker up here. It is a 5-watt speaker. I mean, a 5-ohm speaker. I think it handles 3 watts. Okay, let's play some audio. You see on the power supply, we got 12 volts uh, with roughly 0.3 amps. All right, now let's swap it out. I'm going to show you what it sounds like just on the buffer side here. Now, I don't even know if y'all can hear that. See, we really don't have too much coming out of it. Let me put it back on the other side. You know, it, it tremendously increases the output. Um, one of the main reasons why we use this circuit is because of it, it increases the current. It doesn't overload this side of the circuit on the, um, the buffer side when you hook the speaker up. And that way you don't have to run a transformer and stuff through it. Um, like I said, this, this video is more just an update of what's going on. Um, kind of a quick, dirty explanation of the circuit and how to increase it once you've built the, the first part of it. Um, I do have a lot more stuff planned. I've got several more amplifier kits I'm going to put together. One I'm really, really interested in and I'm kind of excited about it. And while I'm down and I can't really do anything, I'll probably do some videos of just putting a couple of kits together. But uh, And I'm definitely going to make some uh, videos going into these amplifier circuits. It seems like I get more views with all the audio circuits. Um, but I'm go in maybe show you about uh, Darlington pairs and um, just maybe stacking amplifiers to get an increased output um, and maybe one day we'll build a really nice amplifier and maybe do it like uh, some John Audio Tech who does excellent videos about this stuff I don't know if you subscribe to him but if you're not you should and um, I hope you can build this circuit and uh, it performs well for you if you have any questions leave a comment and um, don't forget to like this video. And if you're not already, please subscribe. I can use the subscribers. And uh, y'all have a good day.